Nicholas Ribs is the second magician to make it through to this year's America's Got Talent semi-finals and I'm a magician here to review and break down his act for you. What better way to start than to stare into your soul, before taking out a deck of cards and then shuffling them. And then he separates his hand and he still manages to shuffle them through the magic of technology and projection. After shuffling the deck and then uh, plucking cards out and putting them back in, he spreads the deck out for Terry and utters the classic magician line, pick a card, any card. Pick a card, any card. Sharpie shows up on the table and he plucks it off the table like it was nothing. <laughs> it's, it's funny because no one reacted. Terry writes his name on the card, puts it back into the pack, and then Nicholas gives Terry the pack to hold. Before he starts his act by taking out a screen, with an apple screen no less, and then telling everyone that tonight he's going to reveal Terry's card using a secret assistant. And then he produces the keyboard. Now I've seen this a couple of times already, but the first time I saw it, I was totally caught off by the production of the keyboard. I think because it was so big, it's like how did that get produced, you know? And this is one of those acts where the more times you watch it, the more you can work out how things are done. But that's the double-edged sword when it comes to magic on video. You get to rewind and watch it over and over again just to work it out. After that, he plucks out one of the folders and then throws out a guy with a bicycle, which is pretty cute. He takes the bicycle off the guy, making him fall, which is hilarious, and then uh, makes the guy jump into the fine card folder. And then he throws the bicycle back into the screen, which is a pretty cool disappearance of a physical object. Magicians really like it when things that aren't flat disappear. <laughs> I don't know why. A bunch of cards get thrown onto the table, and then we get this sequence where the cards are flat on the table, and Nicholas is reaching over and plucking the cards out. And if you see this over and over, you, you kind of work out what he's doing, but basically he's doing the back palm production. But it's a bit tricky because Nicholas is up here reaching down and grabbing cards, but it's an awkward angle to show everything that's going on. But all credit to Nicholas because you get to see more of him and less of a screen. What follows is Nicholas then deals the cards into the screen, channeling his inner Leonard Green, before the superhero guy takes the cards and they throw them into the trash, giving him a bunch of paper trash. <laughs> then he takes the trash out and places it into the screen and each way that he does it is slightly different from the next which is pretty cool. And then because he can he makes a giant queen of hearts appear. The little hopper guy isn't helping at all, in fact he throws him a hammer. I guess it's pretty cool because as a magician you'd be thinking what can I make appear and then you go a hammer because why not? And then he uses the hammer to break the computer because who hasn't tried to break a computer from time to time? Especially when you're editing a video for hours and hours and you forget to save and then it crashes on you and then you have to go and start all over from the beginning again. <sighs> then a card box appears and inside is one card and it just so happens to be Terry's card which totally catches Terry off guard because like most of us, we probably forgot that he was doing a card trick and just enjoying what things he could make appear and disappear and put into the screen and take out of the screen. Was this a card trick? Oh yeah, it is a card trick. So Nicholas ended up making it through, so he joins Yu Ho Jin in the finals. So it'll be interesting to see what they both come up with. What I liked about this act is that we saw more variety and more of Nicholas, which is probably what he wanted to do anyway, instead of just us looking at a screen. Although that production of the hammer was perfect. He would have had to rehearse and practice that to perfection because if he produces the hammer and it's like off-centered or something, it would have ruined the illusion, but he pulls it off. Howie Mandel made a prediction that Nicholas could potentially win the whole thing. And I predict you have a real good chance at winning this whole thing. Wow. Let me know in the comments if you agree or not. And if you haven't seen my breakdown of Yuho Jin's semi-final performance, you can check that out here or another random video of mine down here as well. Until next time, have a magical day.